of the more interesting artifacts in the museum is uh, this very beautiful Fresnel, um, which actually is the part of the working elements to a Georgian Bay lighthouse. As long as there have been people building ships, uh, those ships have required navigational aids. And uh, as a result of some of the, what I would refer to as the major disasters of Georgian Bay, um, the federal government under the Department of uh, Transportation uh, initiated a number of lighthouse construction projects throughout the area and Midland and Penetanguishene just happened to be uh, probably the most lighthouse protected area anywhere in the Great Lakes. We actually, between lighthouses that were here and lighthouses that are still standing, we had some 11 different navigational uh, aids in the form of lighthouses. Lighthouses that were constructed by the Dominion government were contracted to various builders. Uh, we started off by trying to build lighthouses in what I call the Scottish tradition, that is to say um, beautifully uh, stone-cut round lighthouses, usually 65 or 70 feet in height, um, but those proved to be extraordinarily expensive. So the Fresnel behind us represents uh, actually a very large Fresnel from the Lonely Island Light Station, which is about 55 miles away from Midland, sort of between um, Midland and Killarney, uh, maybe 10 or 15 miles south-southwest of the end of Manitoulin Island. Uh, it was given to us in uh, 1996 when we did a major project on the history of the Georgian Bay Lighthouses called Alone in the Night. And Alone in the Night was a fabulous program and uh, as a result of our interest in preserving the history of lighthouses on Georgian Bay, uh, we were able to get this Fresnel and we brought it in all in pieces and constructed it for our exhibit and then moved it from the exhibit hall into this permanent location where it's been ever since. It weighs roughly a thousand pounds, so it's very heavy, and each light is different. So the dioptrics, that is to say the refractory aspects um, of all of the glass, can be created in um, a different way, so that each lighthouse throws out a different beam of light, so that mariners know that this is this lighthouse and this is that lighthouse. So there is quite a bit of technology to it, and of course, um, using originally things like acetylene, it gave off a lot of vapor, and so these glass components had to be cleaned virtually daily in order for the lighthouse to work effectively. That's just one of the many jobs that the, the lighthouse keeper or the assistant lighthouse keeper would have carried out on the lighthouses of Georgian Bay. Of course, the Huron Museum is open seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, we have one of the most interesting collections uh, uh, anywhere in southern Ontario. Uh, we have over a million objects in the museum's collection, one of which, of course, is this beautiful Fresnel. So uh, if you have time, um, please come on in and visit us at the museum. Uh, we'd love to have you through, and I think you would learn a great deal about the human history and culture of historic Huronia.